Aloha, my internet family. How are you today? Welcome back to Practical Printing. If you caught my last video on 10 steps to better maintaining your Prusa Mark III, you noticed that the final step we talked about checking in with the manufacturer and making sure that your firmware was up to date. Well, Prusa released the final version of firmware for the Mark III this week, so I thought it would be a great time to just walk through the flashing process quick. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, so a lot of people have experience updating firmware and if you do, you might want to skip over this video because it's, it's nothing new for you. Others that have never done it before may find it a bit intimidating, but it's actually a very easy process, especially with the Prusa tools to do it. Um, it's much easier than dealing with, say, a ramp board or just generic Marlin that you have to configure yourself. It's just a pre-compiled file that, boom, you put it in the box. So all you need to do it is your handy USB cable, the printer itself, and then a computer. Now, if you have a Raspberry Pi Zero attached to your board or a Pi 3 attached with a ribbon cable to your, your controller board, you do need to follow one additional step. And that's jumping here in the menu and scrolling down and turning off the RPi port. That just re-enables and makes sure that the USB port is set up and ready to go. Once that's done, you're just going to take your USB cable and connect it to the printer. And then we're going to take the other side and connect it to the printer, to the computer. And I'll meet you over there to show you how to do the flash. Okay, so you're going to start off on prusa3d.com and then you're going to go to support and then the drivers, firmware, and manuals. I'm assuming that you already have the latest drivers package installed either for the Windows version or the Mac OS X version. Um, I do not know the process for doing this with Linux, so I'll have to leave you to your own devices if you're adventure enough, adventure enough, adventurous enough to try that. What you're going to want to do is scroll down the page in this middle section where it shows the most recent version of firmware for the Mark III. Now, what we're doing here today also applies to your Mark II or your Mark IIs or your Mark II MMU uh, with the older firmware or the different firmware here on the left. So make sure that you grab the appropriate one. All you're going to want to do is click download on the zip and then we're off to the races. From there you're going to want to go open the firmware update tool that is part of the drivers package. You're going to select your file that was in that zip, hit open, going to select your serial port that the Prusa is on. Uh, in my case, it's COM8. And then you're going to hit the Update button. Once you do that, it should take a few minutes to complete. You should be able to look over here on the front panel and see that it says Upgrading Filament, Do Not Disconnect. That will take a few minutes. And once it's complete, your firmware update is done. And that's it, you're done. As soon as the firmware finishes flashing and reboots the printer, you can go about your business just as you were prior with the new features and the fixes that were added by the firmware. Again, always be sure to check the update log on the firmware to make sure that it does improve something that makes it worth it or it's recommended for all users to do the upgrade. If you turned off the RPi port, uh, make sure that you turn that back on before you start printing. You, all of your settings should be maintained in the memory in the firmware, the EEPROM. You should not need to go through and recalibrate your unit at all. That being said, if you try a print and anything comes out wonky, there's always an oddball chance that something got lost, so you may want to go through the calibration process again just to be sure or just in case you have any problems. So that's it. Easy breezy firmware update. If you like what we're doing here on the channel and you plan on doing any shopping, please be sure to check out the affiliate links down below. They don't cost you anything extra, but it does help me maintain the channel. 
and with that i bid you aloha and we'll see you next time on practical printing.